Good Thursday evening, everyone. Uh, I'm recording this about 8.30 on Thursday night. This is uh, March 2nd, and we have a lot to talk about. Severe weather ongoing. Uh, we're going to look at storm reports. Um, a lot of storm reports coming out of Dallas and Abilene. Um, that is a tornado in Shreveport. This is what you're seeing on your screen. Uh, this is uh, from one of our uh, um, followers here, Tracy. Moore Presley uh, sent this in. It was on uh, on our comments here on the post from today. Look at this tornado. This was, uh, they're saying they didn't they even have a warning for this out. And we saw a few tornadoes like that that spinned up across northeastern Texas. That's kind of in that radar hole. And there, you can't really see if there's, uh, if there's um, a tornado or not on radar. And uh, we got some... There's some a lot of storm chasers trying to relay reports back um, uh, throughout the day. So, um, wow! I mean, uh, damage was uh, damage was reported here. Some damage over here in northeastern parts of Texas. Now we have this a, a big straight line wind event that's happening across uh, eastern Texas as well. Uh, so let's actually take a look at the current watches. And warnings. Actually, let's take a look, take a look at the watches and uh, the severe weather outlook here. All right, here is the latest hazard map. So, severe thunderstorm watches across southern parts of Texas. Uh, the yellow tornado watches all the way up through southern Arkansas, uh, northern parts of Louisiana, into northeastern parts of Texas. And then this big old line here is that's this is all severe thunderstorm warnings uh, right now. And then uh, lone tornado warning at the moment, but uh, very high winds behind it, pushing, pushing this uh, cooler, drier air, throwing it up against this very moist and, and uh, humid air mass uh, across the deep, across the south and southeast here. Um, we have flood watches. A lot of rain is going to be coming down across uh, this neck of the woods, the Ozarks, down to central Arkansas as well through the. Northeast Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky. They got um, underneath all this uh, wind advisories, basically. Um, there is um, flash flood watches, flood watches all the way up through Ohio. We have winter storm watches up here towards Chicago, uh, Detroit, and uh, winter storm warnings up here towards uh, upstate New York. Okay. And then another system coming into California dumping way more snow, feet and more feet and more feet of snow up in the Sierra Nevadas of uh, California. All right. And then across Tennessee, you're basically got a high wind warning. If you look at some of these winds tomorrow, um, this is an effect from 6 a.m. through 6 p.m. Friday. Look at some of these wind gusts tomorrow, 50 to 60 miles per hour. This is not going to be this is this is non thunderstorm winds. Uh, we're going to have, like I said, major this low uh, coming up through Arkansas and uh, Missouri, and it's really going to uh, bottom out, which is be basically bomb out, um, drop to really low pressures uh, for this time of year across this area. There's going to be some record low um, minimums for. A pressure across the area for the dates. Um, I know it's, it's either going to break or uh, get really close to breaking uh, across the across parts of Arkansas, Missouri, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee. So there's going to be a lot of wind with this uh, system as well. All right. First, I forgot to tell you, if you're on YouTube, click the thumbs up, click like this post. And if you're not a if you're not of a subscriber on YouTube. It is free. Click that and then click the all the notifications. You will be notified every time we go live on YouTube, Facebook. Man, we've had trouble all day trying to get you all information and it's hardly getting to your feeds. Um, our reach has absolutely been horrible today. Um, you're probably wondering why, why we haven't posted. I need you all to search our page if you're not seeing information because I am posting information uh, most of the day uh, today. So, um, like I said, like this, like this video, 
uh, share this with your with uh, your friends and family the link and then uh, really um, if you haven't subscribed like I said it's free and then hit that all for notifications you will be notified every time we go live or post content all right so we have tornado watches out across uh, eastern or northeastern parts of Texas southeastern parts of Oklahoma southern Arkansas northwestern parts and northern parts of Louisiana we have severe thunderstorm watches down here in uh, along the Gulf Coast in Texas basically and through central uh, south central Texas as well so here is the latest outlook latest updated outlook uh, from the uh, storm prediction center uh, moderate risk out uh, still for uh, I think it's gonna be more uh, the next update this should be sh uh, shaved back some uh, the threat has passed through Dallas already. Um, let me look that look up uh, that info really quick. Just a second. All right. So, like I said, this should be shaved back. The uh, past Dallas should be northeastern parts of, of uh, Texas now. Um, so, most of your risk in Dallas is basically over. Uh, now, so severe thunderstorms, a very large hail, the size of baseballs or larger as possible. Significant thunderstorm uh, wind gusts of 75 to 80 plus miles per hour and tornadoes, a few strong um, as well. So this is going to be ongoing most of the night. Uh, we'll look at future radar here in just a minute. So let's go to the tornado threat. Here's a tornado threat right, widespread. Um, hatched area here uh, with some strong tornadoes possible. We really need to watch across Arkansas later tonight where that warm front um, meets this cold front and there's basically a natural spin that happens along there as these storms try to ride up and over this warm front. Um, so there's a, there's going to be if, uh, if a storm can, a couple, couple supercells can get going along this warm front uh, as this cold front approaches into Arkansas, that's where the where a lot of the a lot of the shear and a lot of the um, natural turning will happen. Uh, so if any 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 storm can just ride that warm front, it will have a chance uh, to produce a tornado across central Arkansas, basically. Um, but the threat is not zero for the rest. So all the way northeastern or northeastern parts of uh, t Texas, southeastern Oklahoma, into northern parts of Louisiana is all in this hatched area. The wind risk, very significant, 45%. Uh, this hatched area, like I said, you're going to have 70, 80 plus mile per hour winds. That is hurricane force winds uh, coming through the area. We're going to look at storm reports um, as well here in just a minute. So hail. Hail's the biggest risk out here towards northeastern parts of Texas into southeastern Oklahoma. Now let's uh, look at tomorrow. Everybody's uh, there's a lot of people out east here. Slight risk out here towards uh, South Carolina, actually um, western parts of South Carolina, uh, Georgia, uh, Alabama, over towards Tennessee, uh, western parts of North Carolina, Virginia. Uh, West or uh, West Virginia as well, uh, Southern Ohio, Southern Indiana, uh, enhanced risk Nashville to Bowling Green to around Louisville uh, tomorrow. Uh, this uh, man, this the way the the way the future radar looks. There's looks like it's a, it's going to be really impressive. Okay, we have a, we have this big cold punch of air coming in, lots and lots of warmth and moisture flowing in across uh, the southeast here um it has the makings of being a, a possible tornado outbreak tomorrow but there's going to be a there's going to be a cap as well uh, a cap in place too um especially across the southern parts of the area here so but if any storm can get going and get the right parameters it could drop uh, it could drop a big tornado tomorrow as well. So uh, all modes of severe weather are possible uh, tomorrow across the southeast. So uh, let's take a look. Let's go back up here. Let's go to tornado threat. Uh, oh. All right, tornado threat 
5% basically risk. I think this might go up. This might go up in their next update in the morning. But this 5% risk basically all of almost all of Tennessee, all of Kentucky, uh, down through northern Georgia into northern Alabama as well. Here's the wind risk, uh, pretty significant in that in that enhanced risk area. And uh hail's less than five percent. So main risk uh tomorrow's gonna be tornadoes and straight heavy straight line winds. Uh, 60, 70, maybe 80 miles an hour um, tomorrow across the southeast. Okay. So excessive rainfall forecast is from the uh, WPC Weather Prediction Center. Moderate risk of flash flooding all the way from southeastern Oklahoma through the Ozarks of Arkansas in through Little Rock up towards Jonesboro and into um, the Boot Hill of Missouri and far western parts of uh, Kentucky. And then a slight risk on either side of that. But like I said, there's going to be a lot, a lot, and a lot of rain over the next 24 hours. Two to four inches is possible. Locally, five to six, especially when you get those heavy thunderstorms coming over the same areas uh, over and over across this area uh, for tonight. An excessive rainfall. We already have, like I said, we've already got uh, flood watches up through here. Excessive rainfall up here through uh, Indiana, Ohio, uh, parts of Kentucky uh, into tomorrow. Here's the rainfall totals for the next seven days, but a lot of this, a lot of this here is going to come over the next 24 to 36 hours across this, across the area. We're talking, like I said, uh, a general two to four inches, possibly five to six across parts of the area. So major flooding is going to be uh, going to be an issue. The ground's already majorly saturated across this area. So uh, turn around, don't drown. I'm telling you, if you see if you see a stream or a low water crossing, there's a lot of low water crossings in the Ozarks. Uh, so if you see water over the roadway, just turn around and go somewhere else. You don't want to risk your life going in there. And all of a sudden, your car stalls out and your car starts floating away. You do not want that at all. That's life-threatening uh, flash flooding, okay? So, like I said, a lot of this is going to come tonight into tomorrow across this area. All right, look at all these storm reports um, coming out uh, just uh, east or west of uh, around Dallas area here, back towards Abilene as well. Uh, we'll go over these, and there was a tornado, like I said, here earlier. Train spotters observed a tornado in Picketon. Uh, roof damage to a house along State Highway 11 um, and uh, 269, also down trees and power lines. This was at four, around 4.30 this afternoon. Um, this, like I said, I'm, it is 8.41 right now, and there's a new tornado warning out uh, for this uh, northeastern parts of Texas as well. So we've had, like I said, Terrell, Texas, 65 mile an hour wind uh, recorded there. 60 miles, 60 mile an hour wind recorded at uh, Cattle Mills. Uh, you go up here towards uh, Plano. Uh, damage to businesses at Preston Road and West Park Boulevard in uh, three what three miles west southwest of Plano. Get in and around Dallas. 76 mile per hour wind uh, in Dallas Metro. Actually, this is Dallas Love Field. Uh, measured a 76 mile per hour wind. I'm up here towards uh, Garland, 68 miles per hour. Here's some damage reports, it looks like. Apartment building in Hearst, Texas lost its roof. Semi truck blew uh, blew completely over. Um, on eight twenty, in Richland Hills. Lots of hail reports up here. One inch hail up here, Valley View, Texas. One inch hail up here towards uh, Woodville, Oklahoma. Basically, golf ball size hail in Sherman, Texas. Then up here towards Caddo, Oklahoma, 
Uh, power lines down, roof damage in at a Dairy Queen in Caddo. And then we get out here towards uh, western uh, Texas from earlier today. There's Abilene, Texas. Uh, 18-wheeler tipped over onto a pickup truck from high winds. Um, basically around Impact, Texas. And then in, in around Abilene here. Trees blown over onto power lines. Let's see if we can find anything else down here. Lots of lots of storm damage or uh, storm reports down here. San Antonio, three inch tree limbs broken. Power poles is busted in half. Same here. This is northwestern side of uh, of San Antonio. It looks like lots of uh, power poles broken. One inch hail. Uh, 60 mile per hour wind at the Air Force Base. So lots and lots of um, storm reports coming out. And this is just expanding east. And like I said, the warm front is setting up right through here in Arkansas. And then you have this this uh, this uh, cold front line of storms coming in, dry line coming in. So there's going to be some natural turning up here. So I'm getting concerned around uh, Little Rock, just the north north of there for tonight um, for some um, like I said if a, if a supercell can ride this warm front out ahead of this dry line and just kind of hug it and go east uh, it ha it'll ha it'll have potential it'll have potential um, at some tornadoes but like I said we're getting tornado warnings still out across the area now we had uh, like I said we had that tornado around Shreveport earlier but I have not I'm not seeing any reports there's no, there's no reports um, from the public uh, that went to the National Weather Service, so I'm, I don't know. That's kind of weird. But anyways, maybe this didn't, re maybe uh, Shreveport just didn't report it yet. But up here, uh, I think it's Folk, it's the Folk, Arkansas. Sorry about that if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Trees down north of Dodd Ridge, Arkansas. Possible tornado damage here. Just trying to see if there's anything else. This damages sheet metal roofs, carports, and Tioga. This is in Texas. So, as you can see, lots of wind, lots of hail, a few tornado reports out there um, today. I just want to show you uh, those storm reports, and you can see what is coming um, as we go forward. Now, some of these, I'm telling you, some of these storms. Are putting down tornadoes without even being uh, warned by the National Weather Service today, because uh, some of these uh, tornadoes have, were happening in a radar hole and they just couldn't you couldn't see the rotation. Um, so on uh, velocities, uh, so this was one of them up here in uh, this was one of them up here towards uh, Como, Texas, that happened that way as well. So while we're on here i know this is this is not recorded live so um like i said it's 8 46 right now i just want to look at velocities on here and see what's going on oh, i'm not even on a hold on hold on a second so if you guys if you guys need a radar app while i'm talking um radar omega is is a very good tool to have um, I think it's nine ninety nine, nine dollars ninety nine cents on the on the App Store. Um, plus, you can have this cool, cool uh, radar. You can look what I'm look what I'm looking at basically here. Now there is there is storm chasers out as well. Um, usually they're on this map. I think I, they just updated Radar Omega, so I might have it turned off. But you can go watch their feeds on Radar Omega as well. So lots of cool information now up here in, in uh, Arkansas. There's a, there is like I said, very heavy rain. Like I said, there's a warm front, um, pretty much laid up across the state. Plus, uh, plus, like I said, this uh, line of storms is coming through, and uh, very very heavy rain up here in the Ozarks. Uh, so like I said, flash flooding uh, will be possible. All right, I finally, I finally figured it out. So you now. If you get the Radar Omega app, you can see these little uh, icons here and here. There's there's Storm Chasers. So this is Brad Arnold. 
if I can pull this up here. Oh. So here's his live stream at the moment on Radar Omega. Uh, you can, you can, like I said, you can, you can download this nine dollars ninety nine cents on the app, uh, app store or in uh, the Play Store on Google. Uh, so. Also, they're about to be, they're trying to focus on this uh, tornado war and storm, looks like here. Also, you go up here. Here's Brett Adair. He's kind of parked up here in Arkansas, just waiting for storms. Then here's Vince Wal Walini as well. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Another storm. Here's a, you can look at uh, webcams and all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, here's a, like I said, here's a weather station up in uh, Mountain Home, looks like. 44 degrees up there. Like I said, there's like these little light yellow things. There's weather stations all over the place. Uh, so you can look at. So a lot of cool stuff. Just wanted to show you that um, as well. So. All right, let's uh, let's. Uh, Let's take a look at future radar. So this is uh, eight o'clock. This is this is at eight o'clock. This is zero zero Z H triple R timestamp up here. Now, sorry, zoom this out. Okay, here's 10, 11, 12, 1. This is all the way in the morning. Lots of storms. Here comes that slow pressure. Rain changes to snow up here um, across uh, basically Missouri into I Illinois into Indiana. Um, as well. So here's another loop going in through tonight. Tomorrow, look at these discrete storms coming through in, even into South Carolina. This front clears the Carolina coast, goes all the way out, and just and it's going to stall out here towards uh, Florida as well. So very stormy day. And you can see some of these cells popping up here. Um, if it breaks through that cap, watch out. You're, it's going to turn severe like severe tornado or the significant tornado perimeters are very high across the southeast tomorrow as well so stay weather aware have a way to get warnings um it's going to be a long night and tomorrow as well all right all right if you're on youtube hit that hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed hit that subscribe button as well it is free um and uh Hit that all on the on the notifications, and you'll be notified every time we go live or post content in YouTube. Plus, if you are if you want to subscribe, really uh, support the work that we do for you all. Uh, you can subscribe on Facebook. It's four dollars ninety nine cents a month. I've been saying this for two. It's less than your than your coffee. Um, mocha latte whatever you get at, at uh, starbucks um it's less than that uh, uh for your coffee drink per month basically is four dollars and 99 cents um so less than your coffee drinks at starbucks uh that you guys get probably every day if some of you so anyways you can support us on facebook or you can support us on youtube hit that join button there's multiple different avenues and you can you can support the work we do for you all. Really appreciate you all. We appreciate our supporters. Keeps us alive and running here at Snowbird Bob. Okay. All right. So basically, summing up: severe weather tonight through tomorrow across the southeast. Uh, tornado watches out um, through I think one to two o'clock in the morning across central or central to southern Arkansas through northern parts of Louisiana. Uh, I'm sure more watches will be coming as we go forward. Now, um, one thing I want to watch is the is what the Storm Prediction Center does with this risk um, up here in Kentucky and uh, Tennessee for tomorrow, uh, as long and and as well down here through uh, Georgia into the Carolinas as well um, as we go into tomorrow. Because, uh, like I said, if if the cap breaks some and these storms get going. Significant tornado perimeters are, are very high, so uh, you need to stay weather aware tomorrow. I was hearing that some schools are canceling in Kentucky uh, for tomorrow ahead of the severe weather. 
that's coming through the area as well. So stay safe out there. Have a way to get warnings. And if you're not seeing posts on Facebook, please search our page um, as well. Like I said, the reach, uh, sometimes it's like really awesome. And then I can post something the next day, like severe weather today, and I'm not, no one is seeing it. So it's very aggravating when I'm trying to get you guys ahead of what is coming. And it's just, uh, man, Facebook's just hurting us more, more and more as we go forward. So I apologize on that. That's why we're on YouTube. Come over to YouTube, subscribe. And you'll get, uh, we've been doing daily videos lately because of all these uh, severe weather threats um, coming up. And we're just now getting into March. So uh, severe weather season is just starting to ramp up, even though we've been having severe weather all all winter long. So um, it's going to probably continue through spring. So anyway, stay weather aware, have a way to get warnings, and know what to do. Uh, when uh, severe weather and a tornado warning comes into your area, have a plan in place, know where to go. Interior rooms of your house, get, a, get enough walls between you and the outside as possible. If you don't have a basement, that's the best That's the best scenario you can do. If you do have a basement, get in your basement. Don't go outside. Don't, uh, don't go in the second story of your house. Stuff like that. So, all right. Thank you all so much for uh, for watching. Please stay safe out there. And if you have any pictures, um, send them to me on Facebook as well. All right. Stay safe tonight, guys. Um, we'll probably talk to you in the morning.